The tragedy of the commons is a term used in environmental science to describe a situation in a shared resource system where individual users acting independently according to their own self-interest behave contrary to the common good of all users by depleting or spoiling that resource through their collective action. Examples are parking, campus shuttle system, testing center, Wi-Fi, fishing, literally, littering, pollution, and traffic. Here at USU, the campus shuttle system is open for everyone. At specific times of the day and or during bad weather, students battle for a spot on the bus. You have a higher chance of missing the bus at the top of the hour or when it's raining, resulting in having to wait for the next one. Um, even students who pay for parking still have to take the bus. <laughs> As a group, we chose parking. Because parking is free, which is not excludable and rival, it causes a battle between all students who drive to campus. Everyone acts in their own interest, and it's a free-for-all. Only two to three hour parking results in more fights for spaces. All right, so one of the great solutions for the tragedy of the commons is privatization. Um, this is great because it allows for individuals to step forward and take care of the land or the property, whatever it is that, that they're supposed to take. Um, and it gives that property right over the resource. Um, and really when it comes down to it, it just is that property owner then has the responsibility to to take care of the land and not be stupid with it. Um, if, they're, if they're smart and use sustainability practices and things like that, then that land can be taken care of better than if it was just left as a common resource.